it was a kind of, uh, it was that pressure. And in the end, of the first season, when she, when the camera, she, the, the, the secret revealed out of her hands by her sister and the camera won't leave her alone, that's when it feels to be really, truly vulnerable, is when you're exposed and everyone's still watching you. And, uh, and that's the scariest moments of life. And so that's kind of what wanted that to be for her. And in the second season, uh, I knew it had to be different because she stopped looking at the camera at the end of the first one. I'm speaking quite fast, but I'm going to up quite soon. And then she, um, so it had to be a new relationship with, that she had with the camera. And, uh, and so the moment the idea of somebody else being able to see it, um, it actually came even before the police arrived. It was just that idea of somebody catching that out. I didn't even know what it meant, but it made me go like, oh, fuck, <laughs> even the idea of it. And then it kind of really measured up really nicely with the idea that the priest has got a similar pressure watching him the whole time. He feels watched the whole time. God is watching him. And he talks to God, and he talks to you know, his thing. And Fubai has you guys, and she has her version of the thing that's witnessed. And so we are God to her, then. Well, you're the thing that makes her feel witnessed, which is something that she both desperately needs and desperately craves, and also is so frightened of. And I think that's, that's a human thing, you know, that we desp- if we're not witnessed, we're not, we don't feel alive, and yet sometimes we need to hide. <laughs> And be the god or uh, you guys. <laughs> that, um, that we'll the for that. Yeah, that's I love that. And I want to know for your co-star, how much has this show ruined all of you for every script you read after this? <laughs> and are you are you just in and Andrew's in nineteen seventeen right now? Fine, you know, more at this but reading any comedy or really any genre now, are you just like, it's fine, but it's not PD and it's not coming back? I mean, how are you mitigating these two things in your mind? Like, nothing's ever going to be able to recreate this thing that we've made together. I think you have to, um. you have to, the way I see it is that, like, um, everything else is just different. Because it won't ever, I don't think. Um, you know, our intention is to keep collaborating. Um, so I, there is part of me that's like, oh God, I've got one in my pocket that's going to be the best thing I ever do. So I think it's be like, you know what I mean? But the, you, yeah, it's, it is quite, it's genuinely difficult. I don't, I don't, um, but I have, um, personally, I've worked on a, um, on a couple of things um, since we've had the, um, Beautiful in a completely different way. I thought um, you were going to say more better. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, 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 as an actor, like, you want to be as elastic as possible. You want to like stretch yourself in a different way. So it's just, um, and I think because of uh, Phoebe's exquisite writing, like it's so deliberate and clear uh, who my character was, who all our characters were. And so uh, for me, it's a it's a search for something that's like stretching in a completely different direction, which are, and that feels really awesome and creatively fulfilling um, in the same way. But it's yeah, I mean it's. It's almost like being an Olympic athlete and changing sports. So doing, you know, track and field and then switching its muscles but using them differently in the sense. I think, uh, no, I just think it's dangerous to think of things in that way. Um, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I don't think you should ever, it, there, there's, some, there's nothing absolute to anything artistic at all. So, you know, she is unlike you know, and this show is unlike anything that I've done before or since, and it's not really um, uh, characterizing that as, as better or worse, unless, uh, you know, I mean, nothing will be better, but there will be things that will also be exceptional in their own way, and there will be things that are worse that I just hopefully won't do. <laughs> <laughs> say no to them before I realize that they're worse. You can say no to an opposite you have that power now. I'm, I'm all, I think so. I don't know. You know, uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's, you know, it definitely, you know, it. I, I just feel grateful, you know, to be working, to have worked with an artist like Phoebe and like, you know, 
Andrew and Sean and all the, uh, the rest of the cast and the crew of the show. So, yeah, I think, too, I, I think that working on this show has given, you know, it, oh, you, you work on something like this and you gain more of a respect for yourself as an, as an actor and a person who does this. Uh, and so I think that that can carry you, too, into the future. More confidence for the future. There's a great, there's a great, I think the biggest thing that I've learned from working with Phoebe is that there's a great pressure, of course, on any film set uh, uh, to, to complete the call sheet. But the idea is that you complete everything that's on the call sheet. And sometimes what happens is that you may have covered it, but you haven't captured it. And what Phoebe's so brave about, she goes, no, 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 sorry, can we just, can we just stop here? Which is actually very pressurizing, particularly when you're working on a budget, why is this going? And she goes, no, 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 sorry, can I just stop everybody? Because we don't have anything unless we, unless we have it. And that's a, it's an incredibly brave thing thing to do and it means that what an audience I think really wants to see is, is chemistry and magic and aliveness. And sometimes the, the priorities can really shift because because of a sort of imperative to complete a call sheet. And if, if there's if there's so many things I've learned from Phoebe, but that idea of just being alive and present is um, so rare, incredibly rare and her incredible generosity on set is unique and I think it's really unbelievably unique. I think they really like you. We love it. Right. It's, it's like one of the most, when you say it's like one of the most intense, relaxed environments. Is that, <laughs> they were, cause it's like we were doing like these like, you know, really intense scenes yeah. uh, and, and like two takes, you know, and, but I don't know, it just felt like it was all going to be okay. So Maybe I not for you, Phoebe. I have to wrap, but I do have one more important question for you. We all had to accept that there's not going to be a Third series? No. Yes. Fine. Jessica, you have said numerous times last few months that she's done, and we don't want to pressure her anymore. Let her live her life. But inevitably, the show will be rebooted in 20 years. That's what we're doing these days. So when we do get to revisit the show in 20 years, where do you hope Cleveland is in her life at that point? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I think it's so instinctive that the feedback is I wish I had a cute answer for you. But to be honest, it's so instinctive writing this character. I have to go so, so deeply present into what I feel at that one time. And either if it's like, I'm feeling like, I'm going to write about religion. And I'm like, I don't know why, but that was it there somewhere. <laughs> and then it turned out to be right. And I feel like, I feel like she's gone, she's doing something else, and if, if whatever happens in the future, she comes back, then I'll learn it all then, and I'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> she, she, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's something of, of, of a future for her, I can't see it. I can't see it. So I think, I hope she's just having a happy. delicious glass of wine somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'd really like to say, because that was really lovely, and everything that you guys said, thank you. But also, and I know that everyone's so, everyone likes to talk to each other in this industry, which is really nice, and it's probably like 20% true. <laughs> 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 um, no, actually, in my experience, it, it's very true. It's a very loving um, place to work, uh, this job. You have to be so empathetic, so emotional for that. But I do know that a lot of the magic that happens in this show, because I can keep watching it. I, I've rewatched it. Um, and I've rewatched it because of these guys, because there is something so alive so crazy alive about what they all do in the show. Maybe that's because sometimes it's, the fighting is pretty dark, maybe. <laughs> um, sometimes it's because there's a dynamic we find in the room that is, is different like to you guys, or sometimes the set looks different, so we've got to move things around, and it's not what everyone has in their head. But every single person in this cast came to the show with not desperately like, trying to understand the whole thing as a, as a beast, but truly investing in how it made them feel. And that taught me so much of the writing, because they're like, every single one of these guys and of course, at some point, came up to me and said, I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like, like Bill Paston said, there's a line I feel like I need to have in there, which is that Claire's not the fun one out of the two daughters. And he was right. And like Andrew's saying, I just feel like you need to ask that question. And I'm right. And, and when you have actors like that who are invested, they believe in it, and you're calling them at midnight because you've got an idea and you're excited, or they're calling you, or doing like FaceTime just over bits of trip, you feel like this other thing takes over. And it makes me feel really emotional talking about it because 
Somebody else did take over, and it was just this group of us. And everyone just knew that they could say whatever they wanted to say, and, I, and, that, and we were all vulnerable, we were all acting the whole time. I mean, anyone could stop it at any time. It wasn't just me. Everyone was sort of going, I don't feel like I'm there or not. Or, and, it was, and I know that that's going to be a very unique experience for me, and it has informed me as an actor and a writer, and hopefully as, you know, in the future as a director, that um, the more you trust them, and the more you tell them the story of what you're trying to make, and the more actors are allowed to come and speak, the, the bigger the beast will be. And, uh, and I feel like we made a magic beast because everyone just gave a part of their heart. And that actually goes for our crew and everyone as well. Everyone gave a bit of their heart for the show. And I can actually hear it. And watch we, it. we felt it too. Can I just say, <laughs> one of my favorite things that a few does, when she has an idea and a way she shares it, and she'll gather a little group around you and she'll tell you a story. And it, and, she, and she's waiting for your reactions because she wants to make you laugh and she wants to break your hearts. And it's the most amazing thing. And um, and that and it, and it does like rock and you feel so no people. Yes. <laughs> 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 So originally, in the you just watched episode one. So originally, when uh, uh, when Olivia Coleman says, um, uh, well, you know, why don't you speak to your brother? That's actually all about. And I used to say because no, because he's a cunt. But the um, <laughs> I wrote it as a kind of I, I hate that I hate that word, like, I hate the word cunt being a punchline for something like that. You don't use that word. It used to be like, mm. but I put it in as like a holding thing. So I was like, it has to be something like that. But then by the time we got today, I thought of something else. Oh my god, and then you carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wasn't there other the, the sort of alternatives that they needed yes. for like airlines or something? Uh, <laughs> that's right. No, 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 sorry, I fucked this up. Yes, so then we had three minutes to come. And we were like, yes, 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 so you have to have an alternative, which made me go like, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> like, then I had committed to come. So then, so then we were like, Rick, what about no, dead. Like, dead? He's because he's dead, blah blah. blah. And then you know, we, we was like, and we didn't tell. We didn't tell him. Didn't tell him. No, so then she goes, beat him. Just like what? Oh, yeah, because of the Nicole, we're such a present actress. And she was just, what are you speaking to? Oh, no, it's not a friend. I don't know what to tell them. Because it's a pedophile. And she was like... <laughs> 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 and then they had to hold them. They had to hold them. The whole crew. It was like, hold, because the whole crew was like, all the fucking... Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, cut the whole audience, bro. And then, uh, because it's so subversive. And it's also, like, uh, you know, a curse word. It's yeah. just it's incredibly shocking. <laughs> 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 and also, we thought we needed to address that in the, in the world of religion, in some way, in the yeah. script, and I hadn't got there yet, so it isn't this fabulous moment. Right. Um, <laughs> and, uh, some people on set who just went, we're going to replace that, that's going to be the backup to the BBC. <laughs> 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 they really went for it in the end. There was a bit of a debate about it, too, after it was set the first time. Yeah. There, was there, was, there was team... It split the room. Yeah, there was team Pedophile and team Pedophile. I was team Pedophile. On that note... Can I just say one thing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.